I have these mandalas just here, and we have to admit they look pretty good. Now, the way that I created these was with actually ChatGPT. Now, what I also did was used one of my other mandala colouring pages, which is just here, from over on Ideogram, and then I got ChatGPT to create me more and in the same style. Now, all of these, I actually converted these into SVGs as well, which means they can be infinitely scaled, just like this. And I also did that just with Kittle. Now, you can do this all probably in within Canva as well, but I really like Kittle, so I used that. Now, if we zoom out, I'll show you how I quickly did it. All these are transparent, and they're also SVGs. So if we come to this one, this is what Kittle shines at. So all we have to do is click on there, click on Remove Background. Now, Remove Background and Vectorize are on the Pro plan. You can't do that on the Free plan, so just keep that in mind. But it takes a second to make transparent. I can then click on Vectorize, choose the colour, which is only one because it's black. I can click Vectorize Image, and within a couple of seconds, I now have this as a vector. Then all I have to do is export, change PNG to SVG, download, and then I have all of my SVGs. So again, that's what I actually did here in Canva, just to make these look a little bit better. Now, if we quickly come over to my ideogram just here, I have a few mandalas, as you can see. I was playing around creating these with version 3.0, which is absolutely awesome. If you want to check these out, in fact, I'll do it now really, really quick. I'll put these on my public profile as well. That way, all you have to do is come through, play around with the prompts, and then use however you want. So let me just quickly do that, just like this. Then if we come onto my public profile, they're going to be just here. So all you have to do is come through, play around with them, you can download them, and then also go over to ChatGPT, where you can actually create even more inside there. Now, if you actually want even more Mandala prompts to play around with, I do have a little freebie that you can also check out. This is a 100 ideogram Mandala prompts, and what I'll do is also link this down in the description. If you want to, come through and check it out. But let's head on over to ChatGPT, because I want to show you what I did, because I just think this is absolutely awesome. So what I did was uploaded the original Mandala just here. So if we come over, I believe it was this one just here. I downloaded it, brought it over to ChatGPT, uploaded it, and then asked it, create a new Mandala coloring page in the same style as this one. Then the first one it created was absolutely awesome. And it's in the same style. Now, I just went through doing this over and over again. It made this one, but I didn't use this because if we look at the lines, they don't quite look right. So this was my least favourite, but the others looked really good. And I put, give me another variation. If we click on here, we can see what this looks like. And again, these are practically flawless. Now, if we come here, I tried uploading it again and said, create a new Mandala colouring page. But there are quite a few limits when you try to do this. You can't actually create lots of images all in one go because of those limitations. So with this one, I actually had to wait six minutes before when I was playing around with ChatGPT. I actually had to wait over 30 minutes. So I think it's going to vary on how much you actually use this. But I had to wait six minutes, and then after that, I got it to do it again, and then I created another two images. Now, this is really easy to do as well. So if I just copy that part, let's go ahead and take this image again. We'll just come over to here, we'll click download. Then all we have to do is upload it just like that, we're then going to put create a new Mandala coloring page in this same style as this one. We're going to click on the three dots and then use create image. And then if we click enter, all we have to do is wait a few minutes and we should get this in the same style. So I just thought this was absolutely awesome. I was just playing around with this. So I thought that I would just make a quick little video showing you 
how to create these mandalas here in chat GPT. Now what I'm going to do is just pause this just to make this a little bit quicker because this does take a few minutes. And there we go. So let's go ahead and take a look. This looks absolutely awesome. I think this is just a really great way to create images, or in this case, mandalas, in the exact same style as the original mandala that you upload. So again, if we take a look at this one, this was the mandala which I created in Ideogram, and then all of these ones just here do in fact follow that exact same style. So go ahead, come over to Ideogram. You can check out these mandalas just here. I do believe that if you scroll further through my profile, right near the bottom, you are going to find lots of other mandalas as well. And if you want even more prompts to play around with, then come through and check out my little freebie, which is down in the description. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like, as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.